Hey everybody, Omega Golden Plays Civilization Six: the Gathering Storm continues with our Pachacuti of Inca playthrough. This guy's like, it's literally like one, maybe two tiles. I think it might be, yeah, it's like one and a half, two tiles, something in here. It's hard to tell exactly because of this, but uh, if I can just get him over here a little further than they already are, I think we we can secure it. We tried to go up top, but there was uh a barbarian presence there that we were not happy with. I was gonna have him uh, place a little tunnel exit over here. I think that's what his goal was. His goal in life. We like stealing cash money. Let's take uh, let's take technologist as well. I don't know. Get some air score out of that. He's maxed out. He's doing good work. Great work, even. We're making friends for you at some point, but uh, oh wait, you can come down here and help us uh, help us with this threat. The town of Dumbarton. Who did we just lose? We lost. A field cannon to a Scottish tank corps. I wasn't aware that you had tank corps, but uh, more power to you, brother. We're gonna need to take you down even faster because of because of this, and we need to probably focus on bringing that bad boy down. But we'll see. Regardless, I don't like losing somebody to. Uh, I don't like losing somebody in general. I especially don't like what just went down. All right, so we do. We definitely need to knock the walls out. I, I want to think about how we're gonna do enough damage to that man as well. But let's start with the walls. We need one more shot. I prefer the guys who are higher level to be getting more experience because this guy. He's just going to join up with one of them. Oh, we're keeping the city. Rebellion, really? After everything we've done here? You would dare rebel? Let's see, you guys can come help for sure. Oh yeah, you're, you're done. You're, you're being dealt with right now. That's what you get. Spec Ops is gonna give it to you. And then they're gonna take it away. I have no idea what that means. But that's what they do. They give and they take away. So we need to prepare ourselves for the siege of Aberdeen. This is gonna secure us two more... Sources of oil, which is just beautiful. You gotta love it. Let's move our general forward. We can fire over mountains as long as we have um, observation balloon in place to give us the range. I say questioning my own statement I just made. I'm yes, we can do this, dude. Uh, the double encampment—that's a power move. <laughs> Scotland, I like what you're putting down over here. It is a power move, but we do have the range on you, so... Good luck with that one. Alright, we need... We never did move him for it. Let's move Victor up. This may hurt our chances up here briefly, but it, it also... I mean, right, it just straight up helped us. So that's good. And it gets us closer... To the Zulu, which we will be probably fighting next. It seems reasonable to me to fight the Zulu next. Should we build an airport down here? We might be able to squeeze in a little air force action against against some cities over here. Let me go ahead and hook you up with the. An aerodrome, and this is this one is an a, uh, an actual aerodrome, unlike that fake encampment aerodrome. 
that we tried to place over here in uh, oh, Rosa Spata. Right, let's get let's get these repaired. Get your walls back up to tip top shape, and we'll figure it out as time goes on. Upgrade to a helicopter. That's right. We were we were interested in using this man as. As our explorer, if our if our worker over there doesn't have the ability to uh, to get the job done, which we're hoping he does, but you never know. There's you know there's real threats in his way, so if he if he can't complete the job, I'm not gonna be mad at him. I think he's a brave lad and uh, he deserves praise, not not anything else. So let's go. Let's look at our our friend here. He he's. He has the capability over here, assuming we can just get a little further to the to the west there. The ability exists. Let's get this. These towns are looking kind of nice. You're not a threat, right? We're Vilnius. None of these are threats anymore, okay. I guess Harold was taking a couple of them from us. Mexico City we bought back, I think. I don't remember exactly. We need a visual over here to be able to actually start taking down these walls. A visual would be required for that. So, are we, what are we building here? We're building a factory, aerodrome, shipyard, okay. We're not doing anything fancy right now, we're keeping it simple. We're going down to brass tacks. We do need to get more builders. Getting more builders is pretty much a, a common occurrence for us. It is obvious that while science is struggling to bring when they Composites. are preparing for... Levy and mass. Alright, so force modernization is going to continue to be useful right now as we have a little bit to upgrade. We like the movement bonus. We like the money from triangular trade. How much would it save us? We're gonna, It's minus 110 from units. We might get more money out of levy and mass than we do up here but i'm not actually it, it, it's probably going to be better to continue with the more the fancier trade routes but let's try it let's just see what happens we're at 182 let's see what happens it went down by five roughly the same obviously the other one was slightly better but Roughly the same. So we need planes to be able to make use of our airports that we're building. Let's look at trying to get some of the big, biggest and baddest of planes. So I'm looking at like... Uh, stealth technology probably makes the most sense. I think bombers are... Eight maintenance, are you out of your mind? Uh, bombers are probably the best bet. Jet bombers, that is. And then, I would say that, like, mobile or rocket artillery is a really good choice to try to chase. And then I do like, obviously, hold on. Let's do stealth technology. Let's do computers. Let's go to guidance systems. And then maybe we'll head towards robotics after that. I want the rocket artillery. I like them a lot. I think they'll be very useful for our conquering purposes. But uh, to be honest, you know, the bombers are going to put in a lot of work for us ahead of that. So we'll see. There's a lot of envoys to be collected here. So I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about going towards our um, our third tier government yet. I'm going to collect some of these envoys and I think we'll be happy with it. So, you need housing.
This would make this tile better. And this tile worse if we drop this over here. We could always drop it on this side and then get a couple of them upgraded. Uh, you know, we always have to worry about the... The effects of, uh... Volcanoes, but let's, let's... Let's think about dropping an aqueduct over here after having chopped the bananas away. And then we'll place up in here to get, you know, some benefits out of it. We need the housing. And... Neighborhoods are strictly worse than aqueducts if you don't need a ton of, uh, if you don't need a ton of housing. I'd still tend to build a lot of them. But... They, uh, they can be targeted by spies, whereas... Your, your friendly neighborhood... Not neighborhood, your friendly aqueduct. I was gonna go friendly neighborhood aqueduct, but when you're talking about neighborhoods, that's just confusing. Observation balloon. He's gotten into position. Aberdeen. The assault begins. I figure we should probably put the... Oh, we can we can do this too. Watch, watch what we do here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. Beautiful. We need one more. We need two more, actually. This is owned by Roxborough, right? Yeah. I'll just buy one over here. And then... Yeah, we're still gonna need... We're still gonna need one more. But we're gonna have to wait a couple turns for that one. Which is fair. Not a big deal. Let me bring you to the other side. Just keep you out of range, but bring you over here. I said I was going to move him to the top, and then I moved him to the bottom. You know, just changing it up. Nothing crazy. Okay, we're going to go take a peek at all his stuff. We might break some olives. We don't want these guys in range of encampments or anything like that, even though they're probably... Oh, he's done it! He's a legend. This builder slash explorer, king among men, look at how good he is. I mean, they are. They were a team, obviously. They were looking, they're like, you know, I need inspirations for how to build things. That's what they said to me. And I said, you go over here and you take a look at foreign lands and see if there's anything you can glean from this. And so they did. And they brought us knowledge of circumnavigating the globe. The fact that you go east and you can end up west of yourself. I mean, it's crazy. Or your starting position, that is. Ending up west of yourself sounds like a, a, very, a very strange and tragic thing. That you probably don't want to occur. But, uh, what ifs? Upgrade to modern armor. Don't mind if I do. Obviously. All right, let's not let's not move ourselves into encampment range. That's just foolish. To move in to, to voluntarily put yourself in encampment range is just asking for trouble. Can you see this if Ah, so here's what you do. You now move you use him for line of sight, and you, you start taking this thing down. You're just going to weaken it for our friends. They'll roll in at the end, claim the glory, and move on. But we know in our heart of hearts that it was all because of one brave battleship. The little battleship that could. I'm not giving you five gold per turn. I think you should understand this at this point, that that's just not in the cards. Denounced. Aid request. Negative 308. We did a great job. You earned no rewards. I really should have tried harder for some rewards, baby. 
Nah. Who cares? I don't need to win that. Amphitheater is six culture. What kind of crazy amphitheater world are we living in? I'll take it. So let's see. We need a buddy. But we also kind of could just use extra things coming out there. It's going to take you forever. We're just going to queue it up. We think it's worth the investment. Alright, let's see. Let's get you to join up with him. Our newly ranked two friend. Now he's maxed out. Hitting the peak of the buddy system. Alright, you guys are good. Let me go explore down here. Oh, hello, my friends. Don't mind me, I'm just having a little peek through here. Just kind of checking out what, what's what. Not here to cause any problems, not here any, on any secret murder mission. Why would you think that? Alright, you guys are just chilling. This is, this is just prime bomb the, the walls from outside of range and then sweep in at the last second with a tank and you take that city. That's what that is. That's prime, prime bombing mission action. I just chopped bread and circuses, which is uh, just a bold maneuver. You gotta love chopping bread and circuses. We're at 10 housing of six. <laughs> Our people, uh, they're crammed in there for sure. And they're none too pleased about it, probably. We could drop a, not a neighborhood. I mean, we could drop a neighborhood, but we could, could drop an aqueduct here and then make these tiles better. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna start with the aqueduct, because you need the housing there. You guys are in just atrocious condition. We have a cavalry corps that could be turned into a helicopter. They could join up with their helicopter brethren. Let me have this helicopter start heading this way. You guys also head this way. That's gonna ruin their order next turn, unless I move you out of the position before it automates. All right. You've done a brave mission, sir. Let's have you head back into the water and then and then return to us. You will be rewarded. I don't know how exactly yet, but don't worry. You will be compensated. Gold. Mexico City is... I think you want to go to Bursa instead of Mexico City. One less gold per turn, but you also have, like... Faith and whatnot in the mix. More overall yields. Harold, calm yourself, sir. The thousand year flood has uh, caused the, the river to just be a very dangerous place over here in Dumfries. You need a builder. I'm I'm noticing also that you could get a a Ruhr Valley. I don't know how many opportunities in our empire we have for a Ruhr Valley. Potentially one over here. Once this factory is complete. And that'd be great for it. For the capital, that would be great. You you drop it here or something like that. I mean this is literally the only tile it could go. So or yes, exactly that tile. That's where you would drop it. Are we capable of purchasing one more? How much do they cost? 860, boom, got it. That's gonna max out our artillery. And secure our future. I'm gonna have you cross over to this side. Seems like you could maybe do some good over here. 
you guys could form an army. See, that would be silly. What we need to do is get you guys each individually some friends because you're both rank six. You've put in a lot of hard work. And we don't want to just throw it all away because of convenience, you know? We can always do this with these guys. Walk in, pot shot, walk out. It's a viable strategy. Tank is... He's healing in the wrong spot. We need somebody to occupy this. How about you come down here to occupy this? We'll get you... Actually, we could just send you. This is fine. Field cannon. If we need you, we'll move you forward again. We, you know, we can bring you once we start going against the Zulu, perhaps. But for now, just keep the city from going into turmoil. Our ironclad can be upgraded to a destroyer. How's our oil situation looking? It's okay right now. What's our aluminum sitch? We, we've maintained a, a neutral aluminum stance. I forget what our... I think we have, we have some aluminum over here. So that's going to be obviously something we will improve in Haddington. We also have uranium over here, which is just lovely. We've got some more aluminum down here. So we, we have a, a mission for our, our friends to at least get that aluminum. Once they've uh, they brought themselves into the, the fold here. You only have one build left. You go ahead, hit him with the upgrade. Now you're not at risk of being taken by that barbarian. Oh, you would dare to come at me with a tank. Remember that politics. I'm glad my guys are really strong because that, that, that would have been kind of scary. Force modernization. How long until we hit up... Uh, So stealth technology, force modernization is not going to help us with. And then we're looking at replaceable parts, which it would help us with. I think what we're seeing right now is that I can just go ahead and drop force modernization in favor of uh, pretty much anything else. Like, veterancy is, is pretty solid. I don't know how many... How many harbor buildings are we potentially making? There's there's harbors being built, harbors being built or upgraded or fixed. I don't know. I think that one's being built for the first time. What about you guys? Can, do you have anything harbor related? No. No? Of course not. You? You've already done all your harbor business, so fair enough. I will take... I will take... Uh, let me take National Identity. And then we should probably switch to... I wonder how much Colonial Taxes would get us. Let's switch... You know what? Let's experiment. How much will Colonial Taxes give us in, instead of Levy and Mass? And then we can change it back. We've lost, like, 20, so that was definitely, at least from a gold production standpoint, that was a loss, but uh, it does come with the added benefit of 10% production in, in some of our cities. I don't know how many it actually applies for us, because uh, a lot of our cities do take place in the original home continent. Let's. I'm picking up... I'm picking up envoys. I'm all about envoys right now. Auckland, we gotta keep you. Mexico City. You're handy. Let's pick you up as well. Destroyer friend. Oh, another battleship. Okay, battleship, you need to report down here to your friend. So head down. 16 housing. It's crazy out here. We're getting the Ruhr Valley. That's what we're going for right now. There is uranium here. 
I probably should get it, but it's gonna nuke some housing and and just a really nice tile. It's still gonna be a, a valuable tile, but I, I'm kind of fond of it as it is, you know. I appreciate what it's doing. What it, it's chosen lifestyle here. I don't really want to mess with it just because we were introduced to this whole thing called uranium, but I feel like I have to. Or should. So I don't have to do anything. Now let's get you... I'm going to put you over here where you're going to be capable of just healing. We taught him a lesson. Don't mess with my spec ops is the lesson. I don't know if, if he's learned from it, but that is the lesson that was that was given here. Alright, so we probably need somebody to maintain loyalty over here. So, let's bring him around for next turn. Keep the city, of course. And work on the monument and repairing your walls first. Get the balloon involved. Move our general forward. We Yeah, we do need to move these guys up. To get them out of the range, we would have to, you know, either situate one in the encampment and then the rest over here. I think, in general, we should just move our artillery all to this side for, for the town of Peebles. We'll take this thing down. No big deal. Right, you should probably come help us out. Just keep uh, near our ships, at least. Got him. I would like it if uh, if we cleared the barbarian camp that happens to exist up here. I would definitely appreciate that, but it's not high priority right now. There's no place for me at Odin's table. That's because Odin has a lot of friends already. And a small table. I don't in take offense. Dream. I don't think anyone would take offense name. to that. Perhaps if you're Loki or something, you might take offense. But I don't, I don't take offense. Alright, naval inst... Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to try naval infrastructure. So we're just, we're just tossing them around. We don't really see a problem with this. Nay, every time we make it go slightly further down, the benefit of naval, um, of, of boosting it that way is that, uh, what do you call them, the, the shipyards should get better, right? So there is a nice benefit there. Accumulate less war wariness than normal. I guess we could probably sacrifice that man... For the sake of war wariness. Alright. You need a bomber. Jet bomber in 17 turns gets started. We might save up and purchase more of them. Because I, I want them to be part of our plan. I think they should be. Let's go for archaeology before we get any sort of art set up. The relics of our world are a more important treasure to us than anything else. Alright, we could use another another builder here. There's aluminum to be acquired. What's your what's your harbor situation? You definitely don't have a, a real choice of Hey, let's let's put it away from the volcano. You just have to hope that your engineers constructed the the best harbor that they know how. It's our coal situation. You got you always got to double check these things before you just like I'm gonna build a coal power plant. Everything's gonna be great, right? Maybe, or maybe you're gonna bankrupt yourself on coal. That's very possible. 
happened to the best of us. That was a weird time for you to interrupt me about, uh, about anything, really. You should come at a more proper time, such as, like, uh, perhaps in between the turns. I feel like you kind of over overstepped your... boundaries there okay let's let's see we got to get you guys you guys stay away from the the voodoo aka the encampment and we'll bring you down here and we'll start blasting peoples you still got to be cautious out here he's not much of a threat but you can make dumb decisions and we're trying not to make just purely dumb decisions They'll they'll be interspersed, obviously, but uh... yeah, you, you try to avoid them wherever you can. Sometimes they sneak their way in, but you don't want that to be the norm. You don't want to accept it. Raymond. What, why have your chances suddenly gone down? Oh, you're a new spy. You're a new boy. Okay. The, the siphon funds 29... Oh. I hope you succeed here. I really do. Because that's an incredible heist. And I've seen some... Some great heists in my day. That one's quite legendary. No, I'm not giving you iron. I don't know what you're up to over there, but I'm not giving you anything. Same to you, Zulu. You deserve exactly the same response. Holy sight. Yeah, not super useful. Okay, so we're going to switch away from naval infrastructure once again. We're going to bring ourselves back to... You know what, let's try free market this time. <laughs> it's gonna- it went down once again. See, this is a- This is an- A true experiment. Unlike those other fake experiments you've seen day in and day out. I, I like that each time we get progressively worse, but it's a- It's a learning experience, and that's all that matters, is that we learned something. You know, that's that's all that matters. Give me these envoys, and then let's take ourselves down to fascism. I could go to fascism right now, but... Uh, I'm not gonna. Simple as that. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take a jaunt for more envoys. Alright, this is where you build your aerodrome. And then you're gonna start building bombers as well. Dude, we're gonna we're gonna live it up out here with bombers. It's gonna be absolutely The the sky is gonna be riddled with jet bombers. You're not gonna be able to look up at all and, and see a clear sky. You're gonna look up, you're gonna see volcanic activity, and you're gonna see at least, at least one jet bomber. That's what you're gonna see. Hello, Bandar. Welcome back to the team. We have always loved to have you on the team. Alright, this is a safe spot. Well, safe-ish. It's the, one of the spots that we feel comfortable bombing from. We only really have two two spots we think are, are safe for bombing from this side. So we should try to squeeze one of you in here, but I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. Observation Balloon definitely needs a friend. Let's bring him. Musketman, you can stay here. 
Hey, you know what? I'm gonna move this one. He's gonna join us over here. He's capable of firing right now. I guess take the shot, get some experience. Let's have you in here. I wanna get him over to this encampment, but this other encampment is gonna it's gonna block us. That's what it wants to do in life, and it's going to do that. I take a shot of Peebles, walk away. So can we get some spec ops, friends? How much is a spec ops, friend? 1040? We can get one next turn to turn this guy into an army. Where's your buddy? You have a- there's your buddy. Got it. Got him! We need another modern armor. Let's just go hang out down here. If, if somebody's gonna take a shot, we may as well be in range of the, the encampment. That's how I feel. You're not allowed to build a terrace farm in the tundra. It would be irresponsible. We could get uranium down here, but I'd kind of—I think I just want to let this one. Well, both of you could get to this uranium. You know what? Let's let's. Uh... I'm gonna give it to you. I feel sorry for for doing it to you like this, but uh... sorry, not sorry. I guess we're moving on. Why I chose to give them it is favoritism. You don't have access to be building uh, any sort of almonds and Scott, so you're dead to me. Not really true, but it's fun to say regardless. Do we have access to, to building the power plant? on a geothermal fissure. It's not indicating, oh wait, it is indicating that we could go do that here. I will do that. Don't mind if I do. Industrial zone, what kind of world do we live in? We don't have one of those. That is a fine world. Nothing, nothing really wrong with it. How many trade routes? Do we... We might have room for two trade routes. I'm gonna queue up two for you. And then let's, I guess, get your temple. I don't care too much about it, but... We don't have a whole lot for you to be doing. And then... I mean, ideally, you're just gonna be adding into the whole inf military complex here. I think that makes... Perfect sense. Alright, dude. We can purchase the spec ops, right? Got him. How much does it cost for the for the uh the double the double shot of a spec ops? It doesn't let me even look at it. It won't let me even look at the drop down. Because it thinks I'm not capable of handling it. Which might be fair. I don't... I don't know. I don't begrudge it. I need to get you... Back here. Really, I should have shuffled that guy through, probably. But this is how we're, this is how we're handling it right now. Taking pot shots as we go. You can work on a modern armor. Go for it. Okay, I do enjoy the cash money. Of, like, a burst of trade. Let's have you hang out here. There's no... Loyalty reason to have you hanging out here. 
this one's a little more iffy, but it is been handled. All right, there you go. Hook us up. We're getting into big boy territory now. It's beautiful. Okay, you've taken a shot at my artillery, which is fair. I would definitely do the same. Benjamin Franklin. It's the highest priority target out there. You drop in. He's he's gonna work his way through here. We're just take we're taking shots. Shots, shots, shots. Get him. Okay, let's take a look at the charts. Now that we've now that we've riddled the walls with some artillery fire, we can see where we are. 475 sides per turn is our current status there, which is pretty good in comparison to Scotland's fifth, uh, 13. I read 50, which I thought was bad enough, but that was his text researched. 189 for the Ottomans, 209 for the Zulu, 145 for Sweden, 113 for Norway, and then 104 for Phoenicia. We are getting 188 culture per turn. Sweden's at 124, 100 for Zulu, 133 for the Ottomans, 20 for Scotland, 134 for Norway, 80 for Phoenicia. We're up to 1215 on the scoreboard. Shaka's approaching it, but Shaka is also going to have a, a tough realization. Um, and his score is going to plummet soon as we turn our aggression from a deceased Robert the Bruce to a full-strength Shaka. It's happening soon. Christina's at 10 of 182 on culture. That doesn't matter too much. We're at two cap uh, capitals captured, two of seven. Christina's leading in a lot of charts here, but none of them are too worrying. She's, she's trying to get out there and do things, and that's respectable. Um... Uh, but we're going to have to put a stop to it at some point or another. Look at the size of our empire right here. It's just spread out. It's got a lot of cur I feel like it's got a lot of curves to it. Like, you see a lot of circles of cities in here. Anyway, I'm, I'm pleased with the Incan Empire as it stands today. I think we're looking forward to great things. We're going to get that Ruhr Valley. Hopefully. Knock on wood. There's some wood. I, I did it. <laughs> Uh, but that's going to be it for this one, guys. Like the video if you're enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.